Greetings, all. I'm just a quick shot. It is Shanira the Mouthpiece. And um, we are here um, for Ask a Black Woman. So thanks for logging on. Um, if you like what you hear, if you got something to say about what you heard, please comment. Let's rap about it. Don't forget to subscribe and share the hell out of this. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, I'm going to have my cinnamon. For those who don't know who she is, introduce yourself and what's your background, babe? My name is Rachel and I'm from L.A., but I'm first generation American. My parents are Iranian. Gorgeous. Yeah. All right. She got one to lay on me. I don't know what the hell she going to ask me, but what you want to ask a black woman today, girl? Okay. So one of the biggest things that I've always heard black women and men talk about, but specifically black women talk about, is the whole issue with hair of weaves and extensions and straining and perms and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. If you could, if you could wake up tomorrow and forever have, quote unquote, white girl hair. So hair like mine where it's curly, but it's straightened where it's not the natural ethnic hair that you have. And you it could be permanent. And if you don't want it to be permanent, you can change it back. But would you change it? No. That was an easy one. Why not? It took me so long to get to where I actually love my hair. Um, as a black woman, um, I must say my hair is me. It really is what you said, like all the stuff that we go through, how they they analyze, people outside of black race analyze us by our hair, mm -hmm. and now how we've come to do it. Um, I know N.E.R.E. did make the song about, um, I am not my hair. That's well, a lie. A, <laughs> um, well, here's a follow-up question. Go so ahead. if you have, let's say, let's say for most of the time you wear your hair in a natural state where it's, it could be in a... Like this. In a fro, and like this. Or like in my a, locks. In a fro. And it's the locks. convenience of it. If I had white girl hair, I would not want to wash my hair every damn day. But here's That's the thing. bananas to me. Well, here's Ooh, no. the thing. Here's my question. So if you had your hair natural where it was like this or where mm -hmm. it was in a fro mm -hmm. versus if you had straightened it and it was like curled the way that you see maybe Beyonce having it in uh -huh. music videos and stuff uh -huh. and someone compliments you okay. when it's straight or uh -huh. when it's more Hollywood. Does it secretly just kind of pain you a little bit when they don't like your natural hair versus when they say, "Oh, you look so beautiful today. I love this hair on you." I don't How get pain. You I don't feel? get pained anymore. Like when I wear um, my wigs, I wore the wig when we did Halloween last year. I was the black Alice for Alice in the Wonderland. Amen. That damn that wig was it was the bomb. Um, and for whatever we're doing, what's this Beetlejuice? Whatever mm -hmm. we doing that. I'm wearing some little swanky gold dress. Or whatever. I'm gonna wear a wig for that. Uh, no, I'm talking about. No, I'm just if saying. You were to go, like, if you were to go to some. Kind no, I'm just of like, saying. I, here's yeah. the thing. Whenever I wear those wigs and they're bone straight, I get so many compliments and stuff. I don't get nary as many. I do still get a lot of. Even when my it's about time for my locks to get maintenance, I still get compliments. And so even I'd be like, but I receive the compliment. I'm like, shit, it is gorgeous. How did thing, you right? separate? How did you separate it from at one point it upsetting you that essentially someone is liking you for a more westernized version of what you look like? Mm -hmm. Versus now saying, you know what, I take the compliment. Thank you, you know what, I, I can't even say it's upsetting. And I don't even, I just take it with a grain of salt for two reasons. One, to be honest, I have no idea um, if it's them preferring my natural hair over that. Especially if it's a, if it's a stranger, they don't know that underneath I have locks. Um, two, people have the right to like what they like. And I don't have the mind space to be going inside their head, seeing if they secretly hate themselves if they're a black man. Something, oh, well, I prefer her to have bones straight, but I don't like them kinga bugs in her head. I don't got time. That's his situation to live out. Mm -hmm. I have done enough self work to love my stuff the way it is, girl. Okay. So I just smile and keep on going. All right. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. That was a good one, girl. Hey, all this talk about white girl hair that I don't want while I'm sitting next to, um, she didn't agree to be you feel but <laughs> girl y'all got a plight though washing hair every damn morning Shh. It's not i ain't day. trying to do I it i don't have white girl hair because i have curly hair okay it's still like i wash it i mean i can't because oil is damaging oh, you. i got white girl i got <laughs> this, <laughs> i got the girl i got to keep the oils here in the ass. <laughs> see what i'm saying so for me it's a convenience factor so i'm actually debating here's a little f um little some some i'm going through um, I went to Dr. Grimes. Oh, a black dermatologist right across the street on Wilshire. Self plug for her. All right. Um, but yeah, having issues with the health, etc. And she says, um, yeah, I see that your hair is starting. Your hairline is starting to thin out. She says, what are you? She says, I got so many natural hair clients uh, with the long locks, etc. And what are your long term plans for your hair? Because the longer your locks are, the weightier they are. 
and they'll uh, begin to, it'll start to keep pulling. So I don't even have to wear a ponytail for this stuff to start messing with my hairline. I'm like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna go back to a perm. I might have to cut it. So that's my next plight or whatever. Okay. But yeah, just out of um, not wanting to look a hot mess with long locks down my back, but bald in the front. So I have to think about my next All right. season of hair. Fill us in and let us know. Yeah, that's all. Anyway, that's a good one. Thanks for doing Acts of Black Woman Cinnamons. Peace, peace.